A key decision area that many organizations are facing today is laptop encryption. And Secure Anchor wants to make sure that you have the information you need to make the correct decision. When we look at laptop encryption, the first thing we have to make sure we understand is what dependencies is it based on. Probably the biggest dependency when we talk about laptop encryption is password policy. In most cases, when you're talking about full disk encryption, where your entire hard drive is automatically encrypted, we also call it on-the-fly encryption, because your data is automatically encrypted and decrypted as you access and read files. Therefore, when you enter your password into the system, that not only authenticates you into the box, but it also unlocks your keys that allows free access to that data. So if an organization has a weak password policy and I can guess your password, then laptop encryption does not do any good at all. Because what would happen is if I can guess your password on the system, that would allow me to not only log in but access all of your keys. And the whole fact of doing full disk encryption would be irrelevant at that point. So we want to make sure that you have good, robust authentication. And traditionally, what I recommend for my clients is go to two-factor authentication. Something you know, a password, and something you have, a token. So this way, even if somebody guesses that password, they won't have your hard token, and they won't be able to get into your box. Another thing that's getting popular, because USB drives and other portable devices, is to use some sort of soft certificate, which we call a 1.5 authentication, which also makes it harder for an attacker to get into that system. The other critical thing to remember is, what are you protecting against? Most organizations, when they do full disk encryption, they don't fully specify the requirements. Make sure you have a detailed list of the requirements you're trying to meet, and make sure whatever product you deploy meets every single one of those requirements you're putting out there. A common area is full disk encryption versus file folder level. Full disk encryption solutions encrypt the entire hard drive and is good if your requirement is if the data at rest, your laptop is turned off and stolen, then it works very well. The problem with a full disk encryption solution is if your laptop is turned on, you're logged into the system and you walk away and go to a meeting and it's left logged in, full disk encryption won't do any good because I can get access to your system. I can copy any files. They will transparently be decrypted on the fly. And if I copy your data to your USB drive or another source, it will also get copied unencrypted. In those cases, organizations might want to look at a file or folder level encryption. This is where each folder on my system is encrypted separately. And now you log into the system with one password. Even if I walk away and you get to my desktop, all of my critical folders are encrypted. And because you, the attacker, doesn't know the passphrase, you won't be able to get into that data. The other benefit there is if I copy that file or folder to a share or a USB drive, it will also get copied and encrypted and will be protected long term. So as you look at solutions, make sure you clearly define your requirements. Make sure you have a strong password policy to support it. And make sure you differentiate between full volume encryption for data at rest and file or folder level to protect your data where somebody might access your computer once it's turned on. Once again, for additional information or data, you can contact us at secureanchor.com.